Now I'm going to show you some of the tools you will want to use in face painting. We'll start with the brushes. You can buy just any type of art brush, preferably ones with synthetic bristles or real hair. And they should be able to easily brush back and forth. They come in varying sizes. This one's a four, which is one of the most universal sizes that face painters use. Then we have a zero, which is a very fine tip brush. And then they range from very wide bristles to in between. Next we have sponges. You will want to buy specifically face painting sponges. You can find these on a variety of websites. Normally they come in a round like this. This is actually from the brand called Snazaroo. And what you can do then is cut them to make little wedges. Next, you will want to get FDA approved cosmetic paints. These are meant to be used on the face. There are also other brands such as Krylon, Benai, Snazaroo, but these are my favorites. They are activated just by water, which I use a spray bottle for. Next, we have a paint called an Artie brush, and it has a variety of different colors next to each other, which make a perfect stroke pattern and blend the colors perfectly together so you don't have to. Next, we have glitter, and they come in two different forms. Liquid, which easily comes out in a gel form which you can draw lines with, make dots. Next we have loose glitter. You just put some on your finger and then just dab it over the paint to make it glimmer. And then last but not least, how to remove your face paint or to fix a mistake, baby wipes are the easiest way. Or if there's any slight staining of a color, warm water and mild soap will do the trick.